Let's explore between the lines. Three, two, one, go. We're in the sandstorm. 2085 Robodoc's not yet moving, but 5458 past the half line, and now 5458 uh, and 2085 has moved past that. So that's 15 points for the blue, 15 points for red, and that. Now we're into the teleoperation period. The pilots can see the field clearly now. Robo dogs grabbing some cargo, placing it into their cargo cargo ship, making it look easy. Their alliance partner on the other side doing the same thing. Looks like the Blue Alliance is going to fill up their cargo ship very quickly. So Blue with an advantage now, 29 points to 21 for Red. Looks like 3303 might have some technical issues. Hopefully their robot will wake up. And 1072 having the same problem on the Red Alliance. So right now the only robot operating for the Red Alliance is 6657. That is difficult. They're doing their job though. Arborbotics placing cargo into the red cargo ship, but they're on their own. It's like 54, 58 with a little nudge from their alliance partners, the Robodogs 2085. Gets moving, they're gonna try to get that. They're rotating or they're spinning around in the corner. They're trying to get that cargo out of the way so they can pick up a hatch panel. It's 54, 58. Let's see if they're able to to grab that not able to but 7589 on the other side of the field grabbing a hatch panel for the blue let's see if they're able to place it on that blue rocket no it doesn't stick we were down to 30 seconds 6657 adding more cargo to the red cargo ship it's a tough match for red though with only one robot 20 seconds Let's see if anybody's going to try to climb. 2085 is on the platform. 5458 looks like their climbing mechanism deployed a little early. 7589 now on the platform. All three blue robots on the platform as time expires. The red robots, two out of three, not able to off. Takes the match. 51 points to 42. All, and they take two ranking points for that, and all of them rise in the rankings. 2085 is now ranked eight. 